What's going on, everybody? It is your favorite Auntie Mo, and I am back for another episode review of Love After Lockup. This is season two, episode 32, Snitches Get Stitches, fool. Hmm. <laughs> Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this video with a thumbs up or thumbs down. And then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to let your auntie know that you stopped by. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, what's going on? Man, did you miss your auntie? Hmm. Auntie showing up missed you. Y'all, this episode of Love After Lockup finally gave us a little bit of what we wanted to know about Lizzie. Um, Glorietta Mama Crazy as hell. And Tony. <laughs> That nigga wanted to go back to jail. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. He wanted to go back to goddamn jail. But hopefully y'all are ready for the review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. Tony and Angela, we going to start it up where it left off at. Y'all already know I got my Moscato. Moscato make your auntie auto. Okay. So Angela pulled over to the side of the road. Her and Tony done, I uh, know, her and Tommy done got the phone call. Feds done picked him up. Or the marshal, whoever done come picked his ass up, y'all. Now, y'all already know, Tommy is secretly happy. That's what he been waiting on. He been waiting on his chance to come swoop up in there, be the little splack of valley, and save the day. That's what he been waiting on. He been waiting on his chance. And you know what? Tommy, get in where you can, fool. Get in while you can. Because she said, girl, when they pulled him over, and when she pulled over to the side with her little uh, salmon... <laughs> I mean, Patty and Selma voice. They got him, dummy. Yeah, he's going to end up doing some time, dummy. Y'all, I need Angela to go drink some water and get off them goddamn cancel sticks because it's hurting the throat. I can hear her. It hurts her to talk. But now she don't know whether or not she going to stay and she going to do the bed with him or if she going to break it off with him. Now, look at Angela. If you know this fool finna get a whole bunch more time and he done lied to you about... God knows what. You still going to do that? You going to do the time with him? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And that dog Marshall said he going to get at least five more years. You done already did two. Or one. Girl. <laughs> the fuck? Now, y'all, the next day, Angela's on her way to go see Tony. She needs some answers, God damn it. Now, her, her, she knows she mad. She going to say they ain't even slept together yet. And he's still out doing all this crazy. We haven't even slept together. Getting, getting blurred off or nothing. Like, she upset. She is mad. She ain't got her nookies off for nothing, and you done went and got yourself locked up for another dog on five years? Like, damn, for real, for real? Now, she say she needs some answers, because depending on what he say, that's going to let her know whether or not she wants to stay and do that time with him. So, I'm guessing, if it's another female, no, you ain't going to do the time, but if it was just drugs, you might think about it. Girl, bye. Stop it. Now, on a phone call with Tony, because they didn't show him now this time, he said he called new charges, and he looking to do a lot more time, a lengthy time. Boy, you wouldn't need my jail a good hot minute. And back again, you want to get locked up. You want to get locked up. I don't care what nobody say. You was just out here wilding. I don't know if you could adjust to the regular civilian world or what it is. You was better um, in jail. You have more connections to what it is. But he wants to be locked up. So, um, Angela, y'all already know. Angela finna go listen to some Reba McIntyre, some sadness. Get her a whole carton of marbles. 12 pack of some bush or something. She finna ride this thing out. She finna be hurt. All right, y'all, Lacey and Shane. Shane said he needs to know what's good, what's popping. He on his way to Lacey's house right now. He like, look here, it's either going to be me or him. Ain't no in-between. I need to know what's going on. So he called Lacey, let Lacey know he on his way to the house. She's like, oh, my God, yeah, absolutely. I want to see y'all. I love y'all. I've been missing y'all. <laughs> I don't want to out. So he ended up going to the house, knocking on the door. It's pouring down rain. He come in the house. She's like, oh my God, are y'all wet? I missed y'all. You look so great. <laughs> the way her ass talk is like nails on a fucking chalkboard. It drives me doggone crazy. So they end up, child, going in the house, doing the do. I guess he got his answer. But Lacey, 
John finna get out in a few days. He gonna end up taking both of y'all out. You need to listen. Listen to your daddy, your homegirls. Listen to your auntie. He gonna take your head off your body. That fool is crazy. Like, I wanna need you to do something. Amber and Vincent. So y'all, it's the night that they going out. He finna meet her friends. Y'all they end up going to a strip club. <laughs> A hood strip club. Child looked like the pink monkey up in there. Amber was having the time of her life. She was drunk, throwing money, had tacos all up in her face, ass all up in her face. She was at home. She was back in her element. Meanwhile, Vincent over here looking completely out of face. He got ass, ass, ass all right here. He and his phone, child. Don't know what the hell to do. Her homegirl was getting on my nerves. I think her name was Michelle. She kept asking Vincent, like, why aren't you mingling? You say you want to marry Amber, then you need to mingle with her friends. This is what you got to do. Why aren't you talking? Like, she was getting on my damn nerves. You know how you got that one drunk person that just does the most? And, and she, that was her. She was getting on my dog on nerves. But Amber ends up, like, he ends up loosening up. He ends up having some drinks, child. He dancing on a scripper. She behind him, Amber behind him, backing it up, dipping it low, doing all of this. It looks so weird. It just didn't even look right. So Amber ends up going outside. She talking with her homeboy, right? So she was like, I know it's kind of early. You ain't really had no time to mingle with him. But what you think about Vincent? He was like, I don't know. You know, I let you know whether I know you need to beat his ass. You know, he was just playing around, whatever, right? So the friend, annoying friend, drunk friend, end up coming outside. And so she talking to Amber and she talking to the homeboy. Talking about how when they, he was on his way to go drop them off to get the nails done. Something like that. Basically how he said that he was there doing a side job. Soon as she said Saying that Vincent is walking out now Amber kind of nudged so like bitch shut up here he come soon as he come down he drunk in a motherfucker it's so damn funny he was like oh mister drank a little bit too much a little bit too fast there <laughs> immediately friends start going in again she like so why Amber I need to know why Amber now mind you he's drunk so he can't really answer straight he's like uh cuz God put us together and God just put in my life. And she was like, no, I need to know more than that. I need more. She was just being real, real annoying. Now, he was getting irritated. Like, I was a little bit getting irritated, too, because I'm like, okay, Amber, at some point in time, you're going to need to back in and tell your homegirl, all right, all right, it's cool. Like, you know, calm down. Whoop the Because she was just doing the absolute most. And this didn't even say that in his um, green screen or whatever. He was like, I'm irritated that the friend is just like steady coming at me. I'm thinking we're going to have a good time. And here it is, Bash Vincent. But at the same time, why ain't Amber saying nothing? She not sticking up for me. She not saying nothing. Like, she's just steady letting him go in on me. So, the producers asked Amber, are you... Because she said that um, I'm beginning to think that Vincent is not the person that he portrayed himself to be when I was locked up. The producers asked Amber, are you the person that you portrayed yourself to be when you was locked up? She gonna say, I pretty much put it all out there on the table. But at the same time, Vincent done ask a lot of questions. That tells a whole lot right there and like i said if y'all seen what i seen she was real comfortable being around all them tacos that's all i'm gonna say about that all right y'all glorietta and alex child so it's the next morning she's all excited she's like we did the big shebang <laughs> it's been five years for her two years for them i'm glad for you I'm glad for you. Now, they getting ready to go meet her mama. She nervous as hell because, you know, mama already don't like him. She ain't met him all. She know his name is Alex and that he was in jail for burglary. Mama don't like him. She don't want nothing to do with him, right? Now, Glorietta is nervous as hell. She like, look here. If mama asks, you only got arrested for burglary. Um, If she asks your religion, don't tell her you Muslim. Say you was raised Christian, your mama Christian. Leave it at that. He said he converted to being Muslim for his ex-girlfriend. Now, mind you, it's the same ex-girlfriend, Angelina, that he ended up calling after they went and did it. He went down there and snuck and got some ice and called homegirl. Yeah, her. He ended up converting to being a Muslim because of her. Now, Glorietta say he shouldn't, like, he should be comfortable going back and, you know, being Christian because the ex is no longer in the picture. So she thinks, hmm. So... 
she's like, look here, we gonna go meet my mama. Just, it's best if you listen when she talks. Don't try to talk. Like, just let her say what she gotta say so she can get it all out of her system. Y'all, they end up going to meet her mama. They in the park. It seemed like mama was trying to ignore her at first. It was clear as day mama was trying to ignore her. I peeped that girl. You weren't fooling nobody. I seen your ass. Because she was trying to act like she was so preoccupied with the dogs. So, as soon as they come up, she finally gets her mama's attention. Mama got these two wild-ass dogs she's trying to keep in line. And she gives Glorietta one of the dogs. So, she, like, introduces her mom to Alex. Like, mama, this is Alex. Mom's like, hey, um, I can't touch you because I got a dog on me. Gloria, like, dang, mama, you can't shake his hand. She's like, I'm, oh, I can't. I got a dog on me. Mind you, she got one hand that's free. Just being, just being a bitch. I'm sorry. This is what she was. She could at least shut that man's hand up, uh, been polite. That's just my opinion. So they go sit down. As soon as they go sit down, mama goes straight in. Okay, can I ask what she was locked up for? And then what did you do? And is you going to do it again? Do you hang around them same people? Oh, your fingerprints was there. Does that mean that you did it? So what is your religion? Off top, just like that. Glorietta was me like, damn, mama, can you let the nigga breathe? Golly. He tells her that he is Muslim. He's been Muslim for 10 years. Mama said, would you ever go back to being Christian? He says no. She's like, so what about if y'all have a child? Are you going to um, want the child to be Christian or do you want him? He was like, um, I don't know. She was like, okay, well, let me rephrase it. Now, mind you, Gloria getting pissed off. She's like, mama, I can't take this. You stressing me out. I got to go. Come on, Alex, let's roll. Let's go. She like, look here, let me rephrase this. Now, say y'all get ready to get married. If she wants to convert to being Muslim, would you still marry her? He was like, I don't know. Mama said, well, that's all I need to hear. Peace, I'm out. Good choice, Glorietta. That's your decision, not mine. That, mama was looking for a reason not to like him. That was it. And I felt like she asked him questions on purpose. Production told her to ask him questions on dog on purpose. Just because they knew that that was a trigger for her and that would set her ass off. And that's exactly what the hell happened. So mama ended up walking off. Glorietta mad. Glorietta gonna tell Alex you shouldn't have told her nothing about being Muslim. He was like, shit, she asked me. Well, I'm not finna lie to her. Like, what the hell you expect? So child, she mad from that. I don't care. Her mom is a trip. You don't need to be acting like that with that boy. Cause, But y'all, <laughs> let, let, let me rephrase that. Because later on this season, he gonna end up being out with the ex or another female or something. I'm gonna end up rolling up. Child, I'm ready to see that episode. Y'all, Cheryl and Josh ass. Look, these two fools made for each other. Look here. So Cheryl, the damn fly away here. Cheryl ends up going to a hardware store because she says she's down in Colorado because it's easier for him to keep his um, parole there in Colorado as opposed to moving into Texas. So she's away from her kids for a month. I'm just leaving that alone. That's her decision. She grown as hell. She do what she want to do. She's down there for a month so she can spend some time with him. So she's going to a hardware store so she can find some um, cooking utensils for her hotel room that she's staying in, right? They go to a hardware store. This fool, Josh, started having flashbacks about when his ass was bank robbing. He shows her this helmet that he had got originally to rob the bank with, but his breath was hot. And it was fogging up the front part of it. So, child, this fool said he had to get a bandana and he had to do it that way. Child, he was just having flashbacks. I was like, Josh, don't go there. Cheryl, get his ass out of there. He tripping. So, he said, this leads me to my next point. The last time. Well, now, hold on. How many times? How many banks did this fool rob? He said the last time, which means it doesn't happen before. How many times you robbed this bank, fool? Like, damn. So, he said the last time he robbed a bank, he grabbed a stack of 20s and hid them up under a tree. He wants to go back and see if that stack of 20s is still there. Not to add up to 20000 Hell, not even to add up to ten to five, but $1,000. He didn't bury it in a bag. He didn't bury it in a sack. He just grabbed the stacks and buried it up under the tree. Now, the fool says the last time he went to go look for the, da the doggone money... It's under some water. It's a little creek that's over there now. So now he's telling Cheryl, I want to go over there and see if we can find this money. So Cheryl, she with it. 
She with it. He like, this is five miles away from my family reunion. I forgot to mention that. They on their way to a family reunion. His mama put something together because this is going to be his first time seeing his family in six years. So his mama done put together a family reunion. They on their way there. Where he buried this money at is like less than five miles away from the family reunion. So on the way there, they finna go there and dig up this money. So they get to where this nasty ass creek is. He can't get in the water because he got his little ankle bracelet on. So he convinces her ass to get in the water she pulls up her pants goes in this murky nasty ass water looking around for with a shovel for some damn for some money they don't find it of course i'm sure somebody done found that damn money or it's so damn deep buried in there you ain't gonna be able to get it out so get your dumb ass out of there they get out the water well she gets out the water she gets up now she's pissed because now she's all nasty and murky and got all this nasty swamp water on her and they on their way to the family reunion. Who told you to get in the water? He even said, I didn't think she was going to do it. Hell, she actually did it. So I'm like, well, fuck it. Go, go get up in there. That was your... <laughs> now she pissed off. They on their way to the family reunion. He like, look here. I can't take these mood swings. You was cool with it. You wanted to get in. And now that you done got in and we didn't find nothing, now you pissed off. Like, what? Girl. She's doing the absolute most. She's still stuck on that. She wants to marry him as soon as possible. She wants a two-story white house with a lot of cattle and a lot of kids everywhere. Child, this... We're going to see what's going to happen with that. We're going to leave it at that. Daniel and Lizzie, y'all. So look here. They on their way to a bar. Mind you, she just got in an argument with his mama about them going to the bar and drinking. They on their way to a bar. They get to the bar. Her homegirl and I guess her boyfriend meet them there. They're there playing pool. Homegirl got on my nerves. Homegirl gonna say, oh, he has on shoelaces as a belt. She's like, oh, uh, yeah, he just got out of jail. Like, well, why didn't y'all stop somewhere and get this nigga damn belt? Why he still got shoelaces on as a belt? That's my question. That ain't none of my business, though. They in there. They at the pool hall playing pool. Next thing you know, Lizzie ends up getting a text. She looks across the bar. It's her ex that's in there. Her ex that she used to run with selling dope or popping pills or whatever the hell that it was in. He ends up texting somebody else, some dude that she used to run for. He ends up texting her. Now she's all scared. She looking all across the bar. She's steady looking back and forth at that dude. Daniel sees something is up, right? Now, same time she looking back and forth at that dude, she telling her homegirl, like, hey, my ex is over here. He done text such and such. Now, such and such is calling me. Daniel like, hold on. What's really going on? Because I see you looking at him, and I see him looking at us, and I'm looking at him looking at us, so I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on with him looking at us. Lizzie going to say she get a text from a dude she used to run with. He think that they in there snitching because they got on wires and there's cameras around there. Now, I know the clear as day the cameras is there because the cameras is filming everything. But because they have on wires, the connect think that she's a snitch. She's doing something sneaky, right? Now, of course, this sets Daniel off. Daniel's still in his prison mentality because he said he ain't quite adjusted to the outside world. He was locked up for three and a half, four years. So he's still stuck in the, you know, institutionalized mindset. So he automatically thinking, oh, he think we snitching. I'm ready to go over there and whoop his damn ass. So Liz is telling him, like, hold on, calm down. We can't do that. You just got out of jail. We don't want nothing popping off. I'm going to need you to calm your ass down. So he ends up calming down or whatever, but at the same time, he's still pissed. He's like, look here. When did you and no do? You said that's your ex. When was the last? You know, let me know what's up. She say, um, August. No, no, July, July, July. He was like, oh, yeah, July. That's when me and you started talking again in July. So you was talking to him when you was talking to me. She was like, uh, I mean, yeah. So we starting to peel back some layers of exactly what it is, this secret and shit that Lizzie got. Now, she even said she wasn't completely honest about the guys that she slept with when Daniel was away. Now, her past is coming back to haunt her because her ass wasn't being honest. You know what I'm girl? That comma bitch. That bitch comma is a bitch. She is a comma, okay? She is a bitch. She is a bitch. So, he pissed off. She like, look here, let's go. I don't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go. So, they end up leaving up at the bar. She outside arguing with Daniel because Daniel like, look here, that ain't something that you told me about. You told me that, you know, maybe this, maybe that, but that's something that you ain't told me, right? So later on, they get back to the house and he like, look here, 
You need to let me know everything that's going on. I'm trying to build a solid foundation with you, and I can't do that as long as you lie to me. Girl. It's a lot more going on with that situation. And on the next couple of episodes, we're going to find out what's going on, Lizzie. You got a lot of skeletons in that closet, girl. A lot of skeletons, and I'm ready to get them all out. If it was something that I missed, if it was something I forgot, please don't forget to put it down below and let me know. <laughs> this Moscato got your Auntie Cato, and it got a tipsy as hell, too. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala!